kal halal yom la yahawa bahasham shal yahawa shay barakate yahawa barakate yahawa shay tama braha kodashka tawa yahawa bahasham yahawa shay for putting his spirit on us to do another video to edify the church uh, yeah, this is your brother um, Yakal. Uh, brother Yaw, what's up? Yeah, we first, we want to give um, our double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Salutations to the elect that push the truth of the scriptures, the Holy Bible, in uh, sincerity and in truth. And all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? You know, this is basically an exhortation video, you know, because um, lately having like, like these demons, you know, these persons coming up to you asking, like, like, off questions you know bringing scriptures that I've never seen you know and have no knowledge most of the time how to break it down you understand and um, this this video is basically to you know give a brother um, you know that warning or that exhortation on how to react in certain situations you understand it is um starting with Sirach chapter 3 reading from verse 23 it says be not curious in unnecessary matters for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. Okay. So, don't entangle yourself in stuff that is not apparent to edifying the church. You understand? Because we already got the, the blueprint. You know, the most I reveal the knowledge to the, the um, you know, the men before us, starting with the apostles, or currently the apostles of Great Millstone, located in, in the U.S. And um, we shouldn't we shouldn't, you know, get entangled with things pertaining to like who's the tribe of Dan and all these nonsense. But you know, to be humble and allow the Most High to um to reveal certain things to us. All right, verse one four. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and in evil su su suspicion at overthrowing their judgment. All right, and so a lot of people think that you know, oh, what if I oh, if I could figure this thing out on myself, you understand? I could just read a bunch of scriptures and put two and two together. No, there are certain things that that must be revealed by the Most High. Um, and you know, they, and they've been overthrown by evil suspicion, as in they speculate. They think they think that they they think that that's what it means, but they didn't. They were lazy and they didn't do thorough thorough research. That's why you know we reverent the apostles and elders of Great and Stone because they go deeper. Because with depth, you understand, according to like Sirach 1 and 1, we labor to interpret what these scriptures really mean. All right? Okay. It says, verse 25, Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. All right? And this is the main point of reading the um, this, this scripture. You know, there are going to be certain things that you're not, you're not going to know. By the end of the day, it doesn't make sense you go about trying to, to break down certain stuff that you don't know. Just simply say that you don't know. Right? Don't be ignorant or be, be prideful to you know to, to, or don't be don't be like you know an effeminate and not admit certain things. Cause we still babes. We came from all sorts of doctrine, Christianity and whatnot. We ain't gonna wake up just like that and know everything. You understand? It's um Ecclesiastes verse 5 reading from verse 1 okay. chapter 5 reading from verse 1 slakia um keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of yahweh and there's like a reference to ephesians 6 all right as in um putting put put not the arm of light pertaining to the um shod your feet with the, with, with the truth the spirit of truth so you can keep the truth when you go to go to the, mo the most high don't come with something else don't come with contrary to the words. All right, go ahead. And be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of fools. And that that pertains not only to hear hear the spirit of the Mosai. That pertains to hearing the spirit of the Mosai through the men that he set up, the honest men. Likewise, there might there might be some some two thirds that Mosai have set as an example for us not to follow along the path. Because if they go to Deuteronomy 17, it talks about the presumptuous presumptuous men that the Mosai made an example out of. Go ahead. For they consider not that they do evil. Yeah, those men didn't consider that they, that they, those presumptuous people didn't consider that they do evil. So likewise, we got to be careful on certain things we do and say, because we don't know if, if we, um, you know, take away from the scriptures, if we blaspheme the scriptures. If we add into the scriptures, you know. Can. Yeah, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before Yahweh. 
for Yahweh is in heaven and thou upon the earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Can so don't be don't be hasty for ramble and talk and talk like like me personally, you know, I mean, I feel like the like the intercessor of of this um camp, but I I more side spirit on me right now for you know keep prayers to the point and exactly to what you, to you what you need you know sometimes you want to call all your brothers names and so forth because it's just your fear you know and you want to stay in communication with the most and you don't want him to take his spirit away from you, but it's just me trying to justify that that you know this is how it's supposed to be. So the most I pray to me these days for lesson, you know, the prayers and don't be a rambler and just, you know, just saying things because you could say it, you know? Yeah, but uh, but coming back to the point, right? Is that, you know, sometimes you may, may not know how to break down a scripture, right? Mm. And the only thing you're going to do is, is just babble, you know, mm. and just babble. Use a, a lot of words trying to break down certain things. True. Like back in school, when they asked you to write a composition, of 500 words and by the time you finish or putting all your thoughts together it's it's um it's 150 for the rest of the 500 words you can just talk thing that don't make sense or you know or just re thing. repeat the same thing over and over and over again understand so just keep keep the words few if you don't know say you don't know keep that few as well understand look at verse 6 verse 6 suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin can, can. <laughs> Neither say it thou before the angel that it was an error. Exactly, because the angels are always watching. They're always watching the things we say, the things we do. You know, don't don't get caught or don't get entangled in this world and be carnal. Can. Especially if you get entangled with your own ego, right? Can. Wherefore should Yahweh be hungry with thy voice mm -hmm. and destroy the work of thy hands? All right. So the Mosai destroy the works of your hands I mean like literally your hands the things you say think and do all right okay. but, um, go to go to Sirach 4 and 26 back in the book of um, Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 4 I'm this verse, right? yeah, yeah, good. and verse 26 it says be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river can so you know don't 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 be ashamed to tell a brother hey I went off on a certain uh, at a certain point. You understand? And force not the course of the river because you didn't know you didn't know um, how to break down this precept. Mm -hmm. You didn't know a certain part of the knowledge. Don't force it. You know, cause you, you just force it and then you you gonna burst the bog or something. You understand? To verse twenty nine. Jump down to verse twenty nine. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack to remiss. Can go ahead. Yeah, in thy deeds, slack to remiss, as in make room for um, improvement. In other words, right? And don't be hasty. We already, you know, brought up the part with, the, with you know, the rambling and stuff like that. What is about it? Um, yeah, scripture. Yeah, you know, just um, continuing on the exhortation. This is First Timothy chapter four. I read it um verse sixteen, right? It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For doing this, thou shalt be, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You know, so take heed unto this, unto this knowledge, because, you know, as simple as simple as not being able to answer certain questions, being you know confounded to some degree, at a point in time, brothers would fall out out of the truth. You understand? You just follow because some somebody made them look bad. But you gotta get a faith that hey, yeah, I may not know how to break this down at this point in time. Yeah, you may not know then, but we we do have elders and teachers that we could learn from. All right. Take heed on unto what you know. For in doing this, you know you can save even those that that you teach and that take heed on it and thyself. Yeah, you going to? Yeah, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, Seek ye Yahweh, all, all ye meek of the earth. And the, goes, the word meek going go into humility and humbleness, where? Which of wrath is judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of 
the Lord's anger. So the most are basically the most are looking for those that are meek and humbling themselves. Humble humble themselves before you know those are those are um that are above you know those that are in leadership and likewise even the babes that you got even the babes that you the most I put in your hands because if you humble and you just you know it's arrogant with the babes you arrogant with the sheep the flock that the most I put in your hand and you ill treating them and you 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 feeding them according to how how they're supposed to be fed in some aggressive aggressive drill sergeant type of thing then you won't be hid from the from the army um, most sites on in the day of judgment basically you know lead by example yeah lead by example well yeah. said brother you got anything else yeah i got one in there it's just saying just this is um right now. Uh, second, second Ezra. Mm -hmm. eight the verse and 49 it is um second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 49 second 48 reading from verse 48 in this also thou art marvelous before the Most High. And you show you what, what um, address was marvelous before the Most High, go ahead. In that thou hast humbled thyself as it became thee. Good. So he humbled himself as it becometh as it becometh um Ezra's, meaning that he didn't puff up himself and the Most High saw that this was marvelous. Why, go ahead? And thou and thou hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among among the righteous so he was so humble that he didn't say that i is the elect i is one of the most high favorite like the wicked ass pastor walking on people saying that he too holy to touch the ground he was humble he didn't even consider himself likewise we we the men of this time should not consider himself or be too puffed up you understand right. next verse for many great mysteries miseries for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world great miseries shall, shall happen to them what type of people go ahead became they because because they have walked in great pride they walked in great pride the proud the exalted the self the boastful they think that you know i got a doctrine i are it but they but every like certain, certain scriptures you go through it's humble you when you think you know when you think you just know enough Actually, you don't know nothing, especially especially the scripture in Jude. That God. humble, humble we both we um this week, you know, you have right is that. Hey, finish him now. Hmm. You have one last precept. Yeah. Lord willing, as your brother got something else. Okay. It is our uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter. I can remember nine and verse. From verse fourteen. Yeah, it is wisdom of Solomon chapter nine, reading from verse fourteen. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, Power. and our devices are but uncertain. Mm. You know, the the things that we we think, you know, they're miserable. The thoughts are miserable. You know, we don't think like the Mosaic. We don't know how to break down these scriptures. You understand, the Mosaic had given the wisdom and the understanding unto men, which deliver it on down. Yeah. You understand? For the corruptible body presseth down upon the soul. And the earthly tabernacle weigheth down the mind that must set upon many things. You know, this earth, this flesh, you know, this flesh is what causes us to sin, that causes us to go off. You understand? We just got uh... Alright, it says, And hardly do we guess aright things uh -huh. that are upon the earth. And there's the point. Hardly do we guess aright. So sometimes we're not going to know, and we try guessing, you know, it's it going to be one out of ten times that we're going to guess all right. We're going to guess the right things. All right? I got one, eh? Um, okay. And with labor, do we find the things that are before us? So with labor, how? By going through the scriptures, you understand? By putting precept upon precept, this is how we're going to find the things that are before us. But the things that are in heaven, who can search out? You know? Heavenly things, we can't find it. Um, and thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give it given wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Can and this is the point. Can unless no. he send the Holy Spirit from above. And um, we in close on this precept, eh? Proverbs twenty eight and twenty six. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is on um, Proverbs chapter 28, reading, verse, from reading from verse 25. 
he that is of the pro he that is of a proud heart start up strife so it's gonna be a ripple effect you know whereby if you proud you can cause discourse in the camp yeah right? but he that put it is truth in Yahweh. trust is trust is trust in Yahweh shall be made fat and i mean literal fat i mean just blessed with um with um wisdom and understanding and um heavenly riches he that trusted in his own heart is a fool can he that trusts in his own heart that goes back to the hebrew word lab or laab which means mind is a fool right but also walk it wisely he shall be delivered so whoever walk it wisely according to scriptures shall be delivered from the from the wrath to come you know with that you know shalom shalom brakata until another time yeah i hope the video was edifying understand